Welcome to day 28. Recognize and admit to yourself the damages your dishonorable speech has caused and try to feel the weight of those damages. For instance, if I've called someone a name, I can think about what it must have been like for that person to have been called that name. In my list of 37 categories of dishonorable speech on my website, I mention some of the damages of each one. There's also a compiled list of damages of all the different types of dishonorable speech. In particular, try to connect with how your words may be supporting violence and hate. It may help to think about that violence and hate being directed at someone you love. This will hopefully reinforce your motivation to speak more honorably.